The MAIB investigation of the Rib Millie accident, in which a family of six were ejected from the boat, identified the requirement to conduct on-water trials in order to understand the reasons for the accident. The trials were conducted in a secured area of Portland Harbour, with assistance from both the Harbour Authority and the Royal Yachting Association. A professional driver and co-driver, both of whom wore kill cords and full safety equipment, drove the boat through pre-arranged manoeuvres, all of which were overseen by a naval architect with extensive small fast craft experience. Triaxial accelerometers and video cameras were fitted in the boat for the duration of the trials. The data from which was used to analyse the boat's performance and to enable conclusions to be made relating to the cause of the accident. This video clip shows the Rib Millie hooking while being turned to starboard and finally to port during trials conducted by the MAIB during its investigation. The co-driver can be seen to raise his arm as the hooks occur. The boat was observed to hook when its angle of heel became so high during the turns that the keel and most of its hull came clear of the water. This resulted in the boat effectively sliding sideways on one side of its lower hull. The boat's momentum was quickly lost during this slide and as the boat slowed a moment was created which caused the boat to return violently to the upright position and as the boat's keel then entered the water the sideways slide was abruptly halted. In the trials it was found that the boat rolled through 30 degrees in less than half a second which demonstrated the high transverse acceleration forces present as the occupants were ejected from the boat.